Well, hello. Nice to see you again at the channel. I just love my coffee. Well, anyway, I am Klaus, and I guess you are here because you want to learn some DaVinci Resolve. Well, in today's episode, I'll answer a question I received at my YouTube channel down at the comment section. If you want me to answer some of your questions, please write something down below in the video. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right to it. So I got this question here from John asking me if it's possible to pause the video without having to do a cut so you can do some kind of a text. And of course it is possible to do that in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get right to that. Okay, so first off, we have here a, um, a clip of me on a green screen. That doesn't really matter that much. So let's find a place where we want to freeze our clip. So if we right click here and we go up to Retime Controls, We'll add a, let's see, I think we'll do some text around here, I think. So we'll push right down here and then we'll just freeze frame. And now we have these yellow lines is how long our freeze frame actually is. So we'll just freeze frame for that period of time. I'm pretty sure we need it to be a bit longer. So we'll just extend it by dragging at the end here. And then it will continue playing. Okay, so let's just uh, go to the media pool here. No, let's go to the effects library. And let's just add a text plus. Because why not? So let's just quickly drop that down. And let's just make it so it fits around here. Let's see if we actually hit the mark right. By the way, you can use the arrows to go one frame back and forward. So we'll make it fit like that. Okay, and then let's just go up to the inspector with the clip selected and let's write something other than title. Okay, film, learn, share. Let's write that. Okay, so let's um, just change the font to my favorite. Let's change it to Tahoma and let's do it bold. It's already bold. And let's just uh, make it a bit smaller here. And let's just do something with the line spacing. A little closer to get a little too much. Yeah, something. It's, it isn't totally perfect, but they work just fine. And if you want to be a little bit more precise, you can push down control and then, of course, just move it with the mouse that way. Let's just do uh, a shadow on this one. Remember to go to number three and then enable. And now we have done a drop shadow. If we go to the video, we can easily move everything around like we wanted. And go back to the Fusion tab. And let's go up to the text and just let's make the text a bit smaller. Yeah. Something like that. And then we'll just, yeah. Like that. And I'll just go back to the video and uh, quickly reposition everything a bit. Yeah. Again, a little bit the line spacing. Something like that. I think that looks a little bit better. So let's have a look at we, what we did. Oh, and by the way, we can just quickly. Uh, fade the text in and out by using the handles in the side. So let's have a look here. And there we go again. Okay, that's a very quickly video on how to do that. Anyway, if you found that useful, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on our channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.